Hey there guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Ebline, where we're back with yet another mind-blowing video just for you guys. Before we move on, I'd like to ask you guys to please consider subscribing, as it would really help us make more of these awesome videos. And while you're down there subscribing, also click on the notification bell right next to the subscribe button. That way, whenever we upload a new video, you'll be reminded and so you won't miss any future uploads. Now, without further ado, Ebline presents Traits of the Most Dangerous Personality Type How to Protect Yourself Be sure to watch till the end as we'll be revealing how to protect yourself if you find that you're dealing with a dark empath. Now, many of you might be wondering to yourself, what personality type is the most dangerous? The answer is a dark empath. There are many different definitions going around on the internet. Here is a small refresher. In psychology, people are sometimes ranked with respect to some special traits called DT or dark traits and empathy. And based on these, three classes of people can be made. These are the dark traits, ones with high dark traits and little to no empathy, empaths with low dark traits, and as you can guess, high empathy, and typicals with average to low empathy but still low dark traits. For those of you who don't know, the dark traits is a set of three psychological traits considered to be malevolent or evil. These are Machiavellianism, the lack of morality and desire only to do things for personal gain, Narcissism, thinking of yourself as greater than others, and Psychopathy, which is a solid lack of empathy and feeling. However, a recent study by Haim and Associates revealed a strange fact. In it, they found that out of a group of 991 people, 19.3% ranked high on both dark traits as well as empath. And so these select few people were named as dark empaths, people who know how others feel but don't seem to reciprocate those feelings and instead use that knowledge to manipulate others for malevolent purposes. There is actually a psychological term for this. In it, empathy is categorized into two types, cognitive and affective. Affective is where you can feel what others feel and feel their pain and their happiness, while cognitive is merely understanding why others feel the way they feel, while necessarily having no similar reaction. And that is what makes dark empaths so dangerous, as they know all your weakest points and have the motivation and tendency to use it to their advantage. And that is also the purpose of this video, to tell you guys just how to recognize these dark empaths and how to protect yourself against their attacks. So now without any further delay, here are 10 traits of the most dangerous personality, a dark empath. One, they are friendly and social. Unlike the usual image of a dark person, which is usually the antisocial creepy guy or downright evil and bratty bully, dark empaths actually have a great deal of charm up their sleeves. And that is because they have a good understanding of what people are feeling and what exactly they want to hear. And so they use this to their advantage and try and get others to like them. So instead of appearing out of place, they can look quite sweet and pleasant. But don't let that smile fool you because behind it is nothing but a simple desire to manipulate and use. Two, they hold grudges. Regular empaths are generally able to, and at times even willing, to forgive and forget quite eagerly. This is because of their sweet and soft demeanor. However, on the exact opposite end of the spectrum are dark empaths, who remember every time they've been wronged and are capable of and tend to hold grudges for a long time. And retaliation is not unknown to them either, as they not only leave no deed go unpunished, when taking revenge, they often go overboard. Whether this is for some sort of closure or just feeling better, we don't really know. The only point is that if someone you know is known for keeping grudges, they might be a dark empath. Three. They blackmail and use emotions of others. One of the prime traits to look for in a dark empath is their tendency to blackmail 
and manipulate other people's emotions. While regular empaths have a strong sense of feeling and compassion, the dark trait people are content with regular harm. Dark empaths are well aware of a person's emotions and willingly use them to use others. From siblings who threaten to lie to parents to get stuff done, to friends who intentionally lie and spread rumors, dark empaths are masters of blackmail and manipulation. So look out for these red flags. Four, they are unbothered by lying and cheating. Another important trait among those of us who end up using others is a feeling of guilt thereafter. Regular people, when lying or deceiving in some other way, feel tremendous amounts of remorse, at least for a while. By comparison, dark empaths seem to feel no form of guilt at the same behaviors. If someone you know can simply lie anywhere without showing any sign of hesitation, be wary as they may very well be a dark empath as a lack of guilt is their defining trait. Five, they are narcissistic and hate losing. One of the dark traits three pillars is narcissism, which is defined as having a superiority complex and an inflated ego. They will always consider themselves special and superior to others who they consider unworthy and only use them for their advantage. People with this trait routinely consider themselves to be superior and believe others to be less important than them. One of the consequences is that dark empaths also hate losing to others. People to whom that one extra mark or that one promotion, even when there is no real competition, are good candidates for being classified as dark empaths, as these behaviors serve as a means to boost their ego. Six. They have forced behaviors. Even though they are very skilled at showing real empathy and faking regular behaviors, if you pay attention, there is always something off about the way a dark empath behaves. On usual days, they might behave perfectly charming, but to those who read people well, you can tell if a person is faking it. Maybe you notice they're smiling to be a little off, or they act a little too cheery when there's really no need to. These signal that the behavior might not be fully genuine and so could be the signs of a dark empath. Seven, they manipulate others well. It is no secret that dark empaths are good at what they do and because of their motives and keen ability to read others, they are often seen winning every argument. And this uncanny ability to have others do their bidding and manipulating people to their desire is a trademark of a dark empath. People who have a ton of people indebted to them and are extremely good at using them are some of the most likely options for being dark empaths. Eight, they guilt trip you. One of the most powerful tools in a dark empath's toolbox is their tendency to guilt trip others. Guilt tripping is when you use a person's feelings of guilt to have them do something they wouldn't otherwise do. Gaslighting their own emotions, dark empaths will not hesitate to make a person feel bad about themselves just to get something out of them. And if you see a constant stream of guilt tripping from a person when it isn't exactly justified, they are a dark empath quite possibly. Nine, they like malicious, tendentious humor. Humor is a subjective choice. Some like puns while others are fans of parodies but psychology has other ways to analyze a person's humor preferences. And one of a dark empath's signature traits is a likeness for malicious humor. This kind of humor, as described by Sigmund Freud himself, is one made at someone's expense, which he named tendentious humor. In it, you make yourself feel better by making others feel worse, making fun of others. Bullying and body shaming are some of the most common kinds of such humor. And if someone seems to like it a little too much, chances are they're a dark empath. 10. They deceive and lie. Last, but most definitely not the least, dark empaths are known to lie and deceive people all around them. They spread false rumors, try to start fights, and plain old lie for their advantage, and are extremely good at it too. These expert deceivers, 
also show no hesitation while doing it, and almost always seem to get away with it. And this ability to fool others is one of the few things that makes them quite possibly the most dangerous personality type in the world. Now that we've established what dark empaths are, and how we can recognize them, it's only appropriate we also tell you guys how to protect yourself against them. 1. Set boundaries. The first thing you need to do is make and maintain your boundaries, and most importantly, make them known to others. Dark empaths thrive on people who let their guard down easily, and so you should keep yourself prepared for those attacks. Don't easily trust others and always keep a limit on how much you let someone else influence you. Because on the off chance that someone is a dark empath, it could be a golden opportunity for them to strike. 2. Keep yourself first. Keeping your priorities straight is always essential, and most importantly, in relationships with other people. A dark empath is only interested in their own gain, and so will use you only for their personal advantage. And you can only escape this if you remember that your own needs come first. And if you're continuously having to please someone else, you should end that relationship. 3. Look out for dark traits. The dark trait is the basis of almost all evil traits in people. And looking out for people who show signs of being one of them is a sure way to avoid the worst kind, the dark empath. Because remember, they are still dark triad people. And despite them having the special charm of an empath, they will show narcissism, selfishness, and lack of remorse. So look out for people who show these signs and stay away, because they just might be a dark empath. 4. Don't compromise too much. If you find yourself to be stuck with someone who is always the one to win, and will continuously manipulate you into agreeing every time, you are probably dealing with a dark empath. As we mentioned before, they hate losing. They will always try to win at your advantage. So in any deal or situation that is difficult, don't compromise over your basic needs unnecessarily. 5. Make your rights known. Last, but most certainly not the least, is to be vocal about your own rights and demands. Many of us have a tendency to be silent when others manipulate and use us but this only encourages them further. If you make your own importance known to others, not only will you stop dark empaths from using you, but stop them from approaching you in the first place. And isn't that the main takeaway of this video? Now to wrap things up guys, we'd like to ask you guys, do you know any dark empath in your life? If so, have they hurt others? And what will you do about it? Please leave a comment so we can read your response. Now. That is all from our side, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like down below. And with that, I'll see you in the next one.